Welcome to day two of the World Defence Show and our coverage brought to you with the support of BAE Systems. Today, as well as the latest news from the show, we're also going to be focusing on the cutting edge technology that is changing the face of the defence industry. The Saudi Armed Forces are leveraging technology in all areas, from the use of remotely controlled bomb disposal units to the Civil Defence's NEO UAV, equipped with cameras and US nuclear sensor modules, to gather data and assess the threat of leakage of radiation or chemicals. But the technology of threats is also advancing, so the defence capabilities must evolve to counteract them. Raytheon has introduced their high-energy laser as a flexible and portable solution to one growing threat, drone attacks. We brought this demonstrator here to, uh, to the World uh, Defense Air Show to show the state of the technology and what, uh, where we're at with uh, its capabilities. Uh, this particular system is designed uh, in the 15 kilowatt range and its primary targets and objectives are smaller drones or commercial off-the-shelf drones like this one right here. Technology in the marine environment is enabling us to go where no human can, such as Teledyne's Gavia Autonomous Underwater Vehicle which can go to depths of 6,000 feet and is extensively used for search and rescue and mine clearance. They also have an unmanned surface vehicle for inspection of the seabed in shallow coastal waters. Others have employed technology for humanitarian purposes, such as Embraer, who have deployed their C-390, a competitor to the iconic C-130, into Poland to help with the Ukrainian refugee crisis. The Brazilian Air Force is flying one KC-390 to Poland uh, in order to provide support uh, to the region and rescue Brazilian citizens that are, uh, that are facing uh, this need over there. Increasingly, the industry is leveraging technology instead of using expensive hardware for training operators, from pilots to engineers, as BAE Systems Hawk VR desktop trainer demonstrates. And the training institutes are also stepping up to meet the challenge. The International Aviation Technical College at Riyadh, operated by ARX Aerospace and Defence, has brought in a range of new training specialisations, including cyber security, air defence and e-warfare. The key issue for us is that we're responsive to the aviation industries and you know, as we've developed the college and gone deeper and deeper into what we can uh, provide and train and connect with industries, uh, you know, these specialties have come up and you know, we've moved into drone, we've moved into avionics, you know, certainly uh, working with uh, the Saudi Royal Air Force, working with the uh, uh, GACA and the, the civil aviation companies, it, it meant that we had to look at whatever uh, their need was. But what is important? is ensuring that the many different technologies work together, which is the job of integration company, ICAD. We're, we're into all different types of technologies. In this stand today, we're emphasizing on four different sectors. We have a lot got to do with robotics. We have a lot got to do with physical security, particularly in marine and underground. We also have a lot in applications and artificial intelligence. And we have a lot in the energy sector. All these technologies come together, they talk together. And this is what uh, ICAD does locally, internationally and uh, hopefully also develop, develop our own uh, technology sometime as well. It's been a fascinating day discovering the interoperable capabilities of the defence sector. And when it comes to technology, we barely scratch the surface. We'll be back tomorrow for another exciting day of discoveries, thanks to BAE Systems. But until then, goodbye. <laughs>